Hi, my name is Kelvin, and I'm a product marketing manager here on the Flutter team at Google. And I'm Morgan. I'm the Senior Director of Audience Strategy at Global Citizen. At Global Citizen, our mission has always been to inspire millions of people to take action toward achieving the end of extreme poverty, including protecting our planet. You might also know us for our massive global concerts headlined by some of the world's most famous artists. And we on the Flutter team like to rock out in our own way by enabling developers like Global Citizen to build great experiences for their users. In fact, the Global Citizen app that launched last year is actually built with Flutter. Let's take a look at how that came together. Since we started Global Citizen, we've seen a generation of people stand up and say, the world's biggest challenges aren't too much for me and I can be part of the solution. The voices of people are what's necessary to make sure that no child goes to bed hungry, that every kid gets a chance to go to school. For us, investing in mobile is essential because we've got to meet people where they are every day and that's on their cell phones. The app's all about taking people on a journey from inspiration through education to action. Tangible and practical things they can do. We transitioned to Flutter because as a non-profit, time and money are scarce. The big advantage of a single code base means we only have to develop things once, one round of UX design, one round of QA testing, and it means we can feed the same features at the same time in multiple languages across multiple countries and meet standards for everyone, everywhere. Plastic Pollution Warrior. We've seen our audience take more than 33 million actions, unlocking more than $40 billion that's improved the lives of more than a billion people. What Simon, our co-founder, said is really true. Flutter has been a game changer for us. And we were really inspired by the story. So we wanted to help push the mission forward with the power of the Flutter community. So we're beyond excited to introduce <laughs> Drum roll, please. The Global Gamers Challenge. In this eight-week challenge, Global Citizen is partnering with the Flutter community to design, build, and publish sustainable games. Winners will get a trip to New York City to meet the Flutter team and attend the Global Citizen Festival. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a lot. Can you step it all the way back? What even is a sustainable game? You're so right. I got carried away. Let's walk through everything in more detail. Flutter is great for casual games. You know, those puzzle games, card games, or simple arcade games that you play either on the go or as an easy way to relax? Oh, like Trivia Crack. Exactly. In fact, Trivia Crack is built with Flutter. Creating games like Trivia Crack and Flutter is fun because Flutter provides an exceptional user experience with features like Hot Reload and existing widget libraries, which ensure you don't have to start from scratch. Using Flutter also means you only need to write your game once, but it can be played on multiple platforms like phones, tablets, and even web browsers. This means everyone can enjoy your game without any extra work on your part, just like with the Global Citizen app. Cool. So what about the sustainable games part? Well, sustainable games are inspired by an initiative launched by the United Nations Environment Program to engage the video game industry in addressing environmental challenges called the Playing for the Planet Alliance and its goals are to leverage the power of gaming to both bring awareness to and coordinate action for important environmental issues like climate change, biodiversity loss, and pollution by integrating themes and messages highlighting these issues into games, and then sharing best practices for promoting environmental sustainability throughout the industry. It's a really inspiring mission. Check it out here. Today, one in three people in the world are playing video games. It's an entertainment industry that knows no bounds. From young to old, from Brazil to Bangladesh, everyone is playing. Now, the video game industry wants to play their part in the biggest challenge of our time. <laughs> to keep our planet beautiful and level up in the battle against climate change, to help the UN achieve the global goals by forming a new alliance for action. We have no time to lose. The future lies in our hands. Together, we can all play for the planet. Got it. 
The goal of sustainable games is to combine the entertaining parts of games with education and inspiration for players to make positive changes for the environment. And that's where we found the inspiration for our challenge. Exactly. The Global Gamers Challenge is to build an epic Flutter game that empowers players to take small actions for the environment that, when done collectively, lead to large impact. But now that I think of it, inspiring people to take small actions that collectively lead to large impact is exactly what global citizens do every day. What are some of the most effective small actions you can think of? So sustainable behaviors can be a number of things, and they often vary based on where you live. For instance, we know that the average person in the United States consumes three and a half times more energy in their homes than the global average. Your goal would be to build a game that encourages people to make swaps, like reducing reliance on AC and air drying their clothes, things like that. If you're based in Europe, you might consider a game that encourages people to use the great public transit systems available for daily trips or to choose overland transport, like the train rather than flying for longer distances. Southeast Asia has some of the highest levels of plastic pollution in the world. Games can help encourage players to make swaps to reduce single-use plastic. No matter where you live, think about the small ways in your community you can live more sustainably and then build them into a game using Flutter. And if the judges select your game to be one of the top 10, you'll have a chance to hang out with the Flutter team at the Google offices in New York City for a day of workshops and mentorship. Followed by a day of celebrating your achievements with 60,000 other global citizens at next year's Global Citizen Festival. It's probably a good time to also mention that UI is only one part of a great game. You'll need all sorts of backend services if your game will have multiplayer features or if players need to sign in for access or even to host a game on the web so others can actually play it. To help, we've provided several resources to Google products like Firebase that work really well with Flutter and that make it easy to get these things in place. And if you're up for some extra credit, we've partnered with teams across Google, like Google Wallet, who are offering up to $30,000 in cash prizes for innovative uses of the new Google Wallet API. We're super eager to see what you'll create and let your users add to the Google Wallet. But we won't just be awarding great coding ability. We also have prizes for great ideas, demo videos, educational content for your game, and more. There are tons of ways to participate, whether you're a coding grandmaster or you've never written a line of code before. Everyone is encouraged to participate. To get started, head to flutter.dev slash global dash gamers and go to the guided track we've designed specifically for this challenge. The guide will walk you through each step towards completing the challenge, from signing up to participate on devpost.com, to becoming a global citizen, accessing resources for your game, and more. If you want to collaborate on building a game, DevPost has a handy feature to help you find people to team up with. For some inspiration, scan the list of ideas on DevPost before jumping into a project on your own. We're really excited to see what you will build together because we believe the best solutions happen when technologists and activists come together. But you've got to get started soon. Submissions close on March 5th, just eight weeks from today. Remember, this is all about doing our part to inspire the over 3 billion people across the world that play games to join the fight to defend the planet. Head to flutter.dev slash global dash gamers to get started. We'll be back in a few weeks with some exciting updates, but until then, we can't wait to see what you build.